In this series, we have discussed the 60-year evolution and history of everyone's favourite Stone Age family, the Flintstones. But what we have yet to cover is the evolution of the characters' voices. In this video, we'll be focusing on the family matriarch, Wilma Flintstone. Out of all the characters in the Flintstones franchise, Wilma has had the least number of voice artists over the years. In fact, Wilma's original voice, Jean Vanderpile, provided it for 40 years, from 1959's pilot test reel till her death in 1999. As a result, Vanderpile is also the longest serving performer in the entire franchise, with few others filling the character's shoes since. With the Flintstones inspired by classic 1950s sitcom The Honeymooners, Vanderpile based Wilma's voice off of the series' lead female, Alice, played by Audrey Meadows, even saying, I did sort of an impression, which was that New York nasal kind of thing, all up in the nose. Ralph, I've been trying to help you by being sensible. If you had listened to me in the first place, you could have avoided putting all this pressure on yourself. All right. But if my mother loses all her money, you're going to have to sell an awful lot of peanuts to support the three of us. Following Vanderpile's death in 1999, prolific voice actor Tress McNeil took over the role and continues to voice her in franchise entries today. With exception of McNeil, the only two voice actors who have provided Wilma's voice in major media were Julie McWhorter and Elizabeth Lynn Fraser, lending Wilma's child voice in Flintstones Kids. Wilma has also been portrayed in live action by Elizabeth Perkins, in the 1994 film The Flintstones and Kristen Johnson in the 2000 sequel The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. In this video, we will explore the voice artists who have brought Wilma to life in major productions, including television series, specials and feature films. Without further comment from myself, I will allow the voice artists to guide you through Wilma Flintstones voice evolution in this companion edition of Cartoon Evolution. <laughs> Oh, I'll be right back. I've got to feed the fish. Where do you want it, Fred? And don't scare Fred, or he'll lose his lunch and my dishes. Oh, I'll be right back. i got to go feed the fish. Where do you want it, Fred? And don't scare Fred, or he'll lose his lunch and my dishes. You hope, Fred. Fred, I'm home. Of all the dumb tricks you've ever pulled, Fred, that trampoline business takes the cake. Fred? What are you and Barney doing with our TV set? Put it back. I want no fooling around with that set now that it's paid for. It's genuine Siberian mastodon and only costs $5,000. Your voice sounds familiar. Is it Tom, Dick, Marvin, Fred? Do I know a Fred? <laughs> oh, you must be Fred Flint. Don't. When baseball season arrives, it's like having a 250-pound little leaguer around the house. Yeah, but it won't grow hair in anything else. <laughs> <laughs> if there's ever a demand for hairy dodo eggs, Fred's all set. Fred, if you're going to mope all evening and won't tell me what's worrying you, I might as well go to bed and read a good book. I'll turn on the TV. It may snap you out of it. See you later, Fred. Mm-hmm. Here's a good one. Listen. Hemopupillitis. Symptoms. General lassitude, lack of energy. Betty, if I don't read it, how am I going to catch it? If I'm too sick to work, he'll have to hire someone. <laughs> oh, Fred. I don't know how to tell you. Tell me what? This. It's not for you. It's for our baby. What a wonderful name. Pebbles Flintstone. Oh, isn't that cute? The nurse dressed her up. He's on the stuff again. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to learn to live with it. You heard him, Betty. Your husband thinks you fool around all day. So does mine. I'm going to be the laughing stock of this town, Fred Flintstone. You, you, you sure could use a good permanent. <laughs> Fred Flintstone, are you sure? A beautiful blonde, eh? Oh, well, thanks, Betty. Hang up. I gotta make a call. Hey, wait a minute. Fred Flintstone? That's my husband. Like Fred said, if a person can't cope, they just don't belong in the woods. <laughs> but, 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 but how, how? What? I mean, well, when did... Tut. Paris! I can hardly believe it. Oh, you wonderful man. Mm. Look, Fred, there's a park across the street. Let's take the children there after breakfast. There's nothing to explain. It's all very obvious. The end run always ends in disaster. Look, Fred, there's a girl on the bedrock team. Oh, hello, Fred. Dinner will be... 
Oh, Fred, it's you. For a moment, you look like a dragon. There is. Develop the picture, and we'll take it to the police. Mm, let's see. Uh, oh, how about cleaning out the garage? Fred Flintstone, I smell a practical joke. Oh, my aching feet. We must have walked through every store in bedrock. Uncle Lenny? I never heard of him. No, they're our husbands. I've often thought about that myself, Fred. After you spend a day in this cave, I don't care how many conveniences it has. You know, it's like there's less of me. And after a good dinner, I feel more of me again. Listen, Fred, the last time you invested in something, what was it? Oh, the wheel, that phony called it. Well, it wasn't good for anything, except maybe a patio table. Fred! Fred! Have you seen this article in the Sunday paper? It's about energy. Oh, thank heavens for dishwashers. I don't know how we got along without them. As long as Fred and Barney are watching those rhino races on TV, at least we know they're staying out of trouble. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Fred. Mondays are my favorite soap operas on TV. Fred, you and Barney go on. Betty and I'll do some shopping and catch the bus home. Could it be that we're a bit more tired than we realize? Daily Granite, Wilma Flintstone speaking. The first bank of bedrock has been robbed. We've got to get over there right away. I bet the trampoline and the juggling ball have something to do with the circus that just came to town. Betty, I'm really worried about the boys. They should have been here a long time ago. <laughs> oh, sure, Fred. You don't have to make up stories. Not when you're so cute in your Santa suit. Well, I've got to straighten things out once a year at least. You know that old saying, a sloppy king makes a messy castle. All right, team, let everybody get a hit. <gasps> Why, Mr. Silica, how dare you come into my room? This is an outrage. Look, a joke is a joke, but this is carrying it too far. You'd better clear out of here fast. My husband will be back any minute. Fred, is that you? Pebbles, have you seen Daddy? Vultures and bats? Who'd want to live in a house like that? The doctor probably told Fred he had a rash. Oh, men can be such little boys at times. <laughs> well, I really don't know. Oh, my. I didn't realize it was so late. Come on, Betty. We better get going. I can hear Fred now. Dear, I know you're tired and nervous, so why don't you just try to get some sleep? See how you feel about it when you wake up. I'll tell you what I think. We landed in the future instead of the Jetsons. Oh, I waited all my life for this moment. <laughs> now, don't you worry about a thing, dear. You have your little snack, and we'll call you back in the morning. Oh, we're going to be grandmothers, Betty. Oh. <laughs> we have great news. The kids got a flight out of O'Hare Stone. They'll be here by tonight. These are only shadows of things that have huh? been. They're completely unaware of us. All except for one solitary child, neglected by his friends, left all alone. I guess we can throw our Spanish phrase books away now that Fred is Roxican. <laughs> it makes me feel so romantic. I think this is exactly what we needed, don't you, Fred? Boy, our husbands sure are something else. We sure got ourselves a couple of class acts. Fred, I'm really having a great time with you. Today has been absolutely wonderful. Well, I'm a homemaker. I'm well taken care of, if that's what you mean. I live a life of privilege. But sometimes I question where the money comes from. He's a little clumsy. Fred Plinstone, get out of that line, now. When Fred says, don't worry, I start worrying. Matterstone Avenue has the most expensive stores in Bedrock. That doesn't sound like Fred. Oh my, it's an exact match. Fred will never know. And I'm sorry for doubting you, or ever being mean or rude to you. Come on, you two. Sit still and be quiet. We're trying to watch Captain Caveman. Ever since he got that, that book. Because it's too far to walk. Hey, you can't do that to us. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Freddy and the Grammar School Games. Yeah, by falling in love. Uh-huh. He's our last hope, Mrs. Flintstone. We're desperate. Hey, isn't that Rocky's house? Our bus broke down. We'll miss Captain Caveman unless you let us watch it with you. Isn't that a drug? Do you use that stuff? Uh, uh. Oh, gosh. Is it 3 o'clock already? Michael Jackstone, here we come. Well, let me put it this way.
this way. We got a spare spot on the pet pickup and pamper wagon? You're telling me. Fred, yeah. do you have to get Dino so wound up when you come home? Our garbage disposal's been acting up a lot lately, mm. so I decided that it was time to buy a new one. But when I went to take money out of our savings account, guess what? Yeah. Brad, you two should be ashamed of yourselves. Now stop oh. it, both of you. Mother, Fred is a loving husband and a good provider. Fred, what's wrong with you? It's a lovely gift, and he is thrilled to receive it. Aren't you, Fred? Ladies, I have an idea. What do you say we go for a drive? Actually, I was thinking about going someplace a little different for a change, someplace new, like going into bedrock and going bowling. Oh, oh no. Now, ladies, don't start chiseling those invitations just yet. <laughs> Fred, he's the valet. He parks the car. Wish I'd brought something to drape over my shoulders, you know? Thank you. Could you get between my shoulder blades? That's where I carry all my tension. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.